And take a look at that. What a difference in the two men just by looking at their last minute backstage preparations. Tex Benedict arguing with himself. Bad mouth and the other members backstage area. Jason Sensation absolutely focused. Push ups, arm curls, breathing exercises. He is ready. He is focused. And he is a big name here in LDN. And he's going to be a big star in the years to come. One of the top wrestlers in the United Kingdom here today. And we are so proud to be able to showcase his talents here on LDN Capital TV, only on the Fight Network. You can see just by the way they hold themselves, the difference between these two men. The humble, unassuming, but confident in his own abilities, Jason Sensation. And the arrogant, self-absorbed Tex Benedict. Two very different individuals. Two very different approaches to life. Sheer contempt in the eyes of Tex Benedict, utter disdain for the fans and his opponent. It is no secret, Jason Sensation, that you are in fact Rumford born and Rumford bred. Yeah. And I'm going to give you the opportunity to make sure that you don't end up Rumford dead. Hold on, there's no need for that. There's no need for that kind of talk, sir. I see it. What an absolute plonker. How rude can you be? There's no way Jason Sensation is going to back out of this contest. That was just a thinly veiled attempt for Tex Benedict to save face. Jason Sensation, the hometown boy here tonight in Romford. And every fan in the building solidly behind him. And as Benedict rightly pointed out, Sensation is bigger than him, more muscular than him. And this may well come down to speed. Is Benedict going to be able to avoid Sensation? I might suggest that's his only hope if he wants to win the bout. He has to keep out of the way of the big man. He has to use his speed and his cunning. Come on, guys, let's break it up. Come on, break it up. And hold on just a second. He needs to use speed and cunning, not dirty tricks and shortcuts. Hey! He slapped his own hands and then claimed he'd been punched in the face with a closed fist. for a second time this is outrageous behavior by Benedict there's not much the referee can do if he didn't see it but I certainly feel for Jason Sensation here he is competing against a competitor with no scruples Benedict has got no moral scruples whatsoever no compunction about bending the rules and that makes him difficult to wrestle and it's a shame he has undergone such a 
severe attitude adjustment. He suffered a, a bad injury towards the end of uh, last year and returned to his home country of the United States of America for a couple of months. He took a few months away from the country and indeed a few months away from the sport of wrestling. He reconsidered his whole future and was very close to quitting the sport. But he decided to come back, but when he came back, ah, he's been caught this time. He has been caught this time. And all of a sudden, the picture comes clear to referee Chris Roberts. Apologies all round for sensation, and a slap in the face for Tex Benedict. Big scoop slam there from a powerful sensation. And as I said, Benedict very close to quitting the sport of wrestling last year. When he came back, he said he never received a single get well soon card or email from any of the fans here in LDN. And I don't know if that's true or not, but that seemed to be the beginning of the end for the lovable Tex Benedict that we all used to know and love. And instead, he has developed a serious attitude problem. We've seen it happen to some of our top stars, a similar story happened to a similar thing happened to Mike Mendoza he has also become frustrated with his difficult well, a very disappointing win-loss streak in recent months and Mendoza has started attaching himself to the LDM champion John Ritchie Benedict has started breaking the rules and insulting the fans and it's such a shame when these positive role models turn their backs on the good fans of LDN. But as long as we've still got men the likes of Jason Sensation and Yorgos Christopoulos, maybe everything's going to be okay after all. And Benedict running for all he's worth, but he gets caught. He catches Sensation with a shoulder barge as he launches himself back into the ring, kicks to the midsection. And Armbar, and talking of John Ritchie, we will see him in action right here next week on Capital TV in a tag team with Barry Ryan another of his many associates growing army of ragtag 